So if you watched my other video, I said I was going to show you how I was going to sort of restore my old bird feeder here. Um, I know how it's made because I built it, and I built it really quickly, and oh, honestly, not very well. I used glue and I used uh, a nail gun using really small nails. I figured it would wouldn't last too long, and I shouldn't. Have, I should have screwed it all together in the first place, but it was kind of like an experiment. Never really made a, like a little bird feeder before, so I just had some scrap wood around slapped it together. But now here we are. I have the new feeder, so I'm gonna fix this one up properly. And I already got started, but I'll show you how how to do it, just so it doesn't fall apart. Um, basically, you know, if you have an old birdhouse or bird feeder, you wanna if it's starting to fall apart, screw it together. Um, use screws. They're just deck screws, pretty standard. And that's pretty much about the the key to everything. Uh, put screws in, hold everything together. Important to pre-drill this stuff. Uh, this is basically a uh, uh, fence board. The top piece is a little bit bigger, a little heavier stuff, but it's made out of fence board. So you have to be careful, pre-drill stuff, and I'll show you how I do that. And also uh, pre-drill the counter sinks too for the screws. Otherwise you'll end up splitting this wood. It's not very tough. But it is, uh, it's actually cedar, so it, you know, it should last. Okay, so I'll uh, get something put together. Well, I know what I'm gonna do here. The problem is with the new feeder, um, it was indicated to me that the doves were no longer going to the uh, bird feeder because they can't seem to land on the wire that goes around the bottom of it. And on the fence, it was no big deal because they had a big fence to, to walk around on. And so what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna be the same principle of how I repaired the whole birdhouse. I'm gonna attach this piece here to the bottom, which is gonna create a shelf. Uh, and that should be big enough for them to, to land on and you know do their thing, I hope anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for the screws, like I said, I'm using just, the, these are really short deck screws, or I don't know, it'd be for like really thin deck boards, but that's what I'm using. And then what you wanna do is get your drill out, get a drill bit that's just slightly smaller than what the screw, the screw threads are. You can tell with using your finger or else if you have bits that come inserted in a thing, you can just check with the uh, screw. And so here we go. Gonna line this up. Now I'm just gonna put in four screws. That should be plenty. Okay, the next step here, uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit of a countersink. Just let me take this screw out. Hey, okay, voila, step one. So it's the same concept, as I said, pre-drill the holes. Um, if you, it would be ideal if you don't want the screw head sticking out, especially if it's older wood, you need to uh, countersink it so it can be fairly flush. And that's pretty much how you would approach the whole, uh, the whole birdhouse or bird feeder when you go to put screws in it.
Okay, so I was talking about, uh, so I extended, as I said, I put on the bottom piece, so now they have a ledge there. But, you know, those doves are kind of big. Now I'm thinking, you know, maybe this just isn't enough room for them to do a, a nice approach in here. And I know this might look a little bit goofy, but I think I'm going to put a board out like this to extend it out so now they can come in and land on here. And then they can uh, sort of work their way up towards where the food is. And if you notice here, my old ledge, I took it off, it was falling apart, but you need to contain the bird, the bird seed. So this is going to basically sit there, so it's going to contain the, the seed down in that uh, area there. So I think that'll work out pretty good. Might look a little bit silly, but eh. I'm sure the birds won't mind. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'll uh, pre-drill some holes and again I'll use those same screws and they're they're short enough but yet long enough that they're, they won't go through the bottom but um, the, they will hold all the wood together so I think it'll work out fine. Let's uh, get those screws in. Okay, so now if you run into the situation where you're, you're, you're thinking, well, how am I going to make sure that these holes are all going to line up? I'm going through, well, basically three pieces of wood. That's no problem. Just turn, some, turn the screws in here, get them started. We're just going to make them so they poke out the bottom just a tiny bit. There. Take your next piece. Just line them up. There we go. Do the same thing. Okay, just start to poke through there. Be careful, don't screw your fingers onto the board. Make sure <laughs> make sure your finger's not over where the screw's coming out. Alright. I am going to put in one more screw. I'm going to put that in from the bottom just to make sure that it's all going to stay together. Not gonna fall apart. Woo! Let's uh, let's spruce this thing up a little bit. Let's go get a little bit of fence stain now. Get her painted. Okay, before I stain it, I'm going to put in a hook here so I can hang it up uh, out with the uh, other birdhouse. So you need a hook in it, and you're like, well, where do I put the hook? You know, without getting real technical and stuff. Take your fingers like this, lift it up, keep doing that until you find out where it hangs basically level or even a little bit forward facing, okay? And if you're good at eyeballing things, which I am, <laughs> make a mark there, 
I'm just gonna double check it. And I think that's gonna work. Gotta pre-drill that too. Otherwise you'll just have a big split in your roof. Okay, so, uh, well, the lighting in here is not all that great now, sorry, it, there's a thunderstorm that's starting to get in here, it's like getting pretty dark for some reason, but, yeah, could be the storm, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna put some stain on here, it's just waterproofing stain, I like to use, uh, the transparent stain, that way you never have an issue with stuff flaking off and peeling off, so, let's, uh, get this thing done up. All right, everyone, I have the uh, old house up and finished. I put it on this uh, pole here, and it's sort of offset from the deck rail so the birds aren't gonna poop on the deck. And there you have it. Uh, that's what it looks like now. I think it's changed a little, and hopefully that's gonna work out for the, uh, the doves. We'll wait and see.